Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Chad back here with another episode of Sports Hub Central. Once again, flying solo this week. And the topic that I would like to tackle here is what has transpired in the NFL with Paul Tagliabu ruling on the Bounty Gate suspensions that were handed down by Roger Goodell. A couple of weeks ago, I absolutely lost my mind thinking how absurd it was that Tagliabu would be even given the opportunity to make these decisions based on his uh, affiliation with the league and possibly having a bias towards the owners and Godell having held the same position in the league, thinking that they should be going to somebody who is more of a third party uh, person that can analyze the situation and not possibly have the bias based on uh, influences from previous experience working with the league. However, when I found out about uh, what he had to say and his uh, determination that the uh, Bounty Gate discipline should be vacated, I was absolutely loving it. I was jumping around, giving a round of applause because Paul Tagliabu simply gets it. Something that Roger Godell does not. And when you read a lot of uh, what was said in terms of his logic behind it, it has more to do with the fact that he believes more of the blame should be assigned to the coaches and the management and not so much the players. And when Godell found out about this and had his opportunity to respond, he had a massive philosophical difference with Tagliabu, believing that the players should hold just as much responsibility as the actual uh, management and the um, coaches themselves. And I, I happen to agree with Tagliabu here because at the end of the day, the players oftentimes are just taking the instruction of their coaches to go out there and play a certain way. And when you look at who was the one making the speech in the locker room, it was Greg Williams. I mean, if you're a player and you are under the instruction of a coach and they are getting you all worked up to go berserk on the field and hit players, you're going to listen to that. You're going to be motivated and just naturally react based on the emotions of what's put in front of you. It's no different than any other person who's an employee in today's society working for a boss who uses motivational tactics. So a lot of times when there are problems with whatever workforce it is, the blame has to be assigned on the people that have more control within the organization. And that's where I think Paul Tagliabu has hit it right on the head, something Roger Godell cannot seem to understand. And furthermore, at least Tagliabu gave them the opportunity to sit there and explain their side of the story. That was never the case with Godell. Remember when the federal judge looked at it and said Godell didn't even give them the chance to explain their side of the story? It was Godell's way or the highway. He was ruling with an iron fist, complete dictatorship, and never even gave the other side an opportunity to express their opinions and stories on everything that happened there. So Tagliabu appears to have a way more open-minded uh, process to analyzing everything here, something Roger Godell could not do. And when you just look at the quotes that come out of his mouth, it really just further um, you know, justifies my theory in terms of the way he's ruling this league. He goes, player health and safety is an, imp and is an important issue. That's all he cares about. Not because he actually really cares about the well-being of these players. Come on, who do you think you're kidding, Godell? It's all to try to save your ass from lawsuits in the future. Now with all these former players coming out and wanting to sue the league, all he's trying to do is cover his ass in the league for many years to come. Because at the end of the day, if any NFL player tries to sue the league in the future, he wants to ensure that when a judge looks at it, he can say that all these uh, rules were put in place and fines and suspensions to try to make the game safer and cleaner. Therefore, that the players knew about this and they're less likely to get injuries and uh, save some money for the league. That's his number one agenda. He'll never come out and say that. But if you can't see that, then you clearly are not very good at reading through what exactly his points here are. I've been ranting and raving with all these ideas that he's had with trying to soften this league down. The flags are way too absurd. All these roughing the pass. They're trying to protect the pretty boy quarterbacks. You breathe on a player. It's passing interference now uh, you know it, it's just way too much the flags it slows down the pace of the game football is getting hit like Ray Lewis said and for him to say player health and safety is an important issue I don't dispute that but the bottom line is this anybody that steps up onto an NFL field or any football field for that re that matter at all should understand that health goes out the window it's not a safe sport there are many things people do in our world that are not considered safe well you know what when you participate in those activities it is your job and your duty as a citizen in our world to understand that and if you can't handle the risks then don't do it do something else no one's forcing you to go and play football. No one's forcing you to collect the millions of dollars that you're compensated with playing this sport. That is the risk. And Roger Godell is trying to take that out of the game and ruin inherently what the sport is all about. And that is what 
pisses me off as a fan and I'll continue to bitch until the cows come home on this situation. And Paul Tagliabue, the previous commissioner, clearly understood it to a higher level than Roger Godell ever will. And he'll can sit there being smug and providing these BS little answers, collecting his $20 million paycheck every year. And it pisses me off. Rant over. Chat M. BetHub.com. Get on the website. Bet on these games. Because it doesn't matter how frustrated you are with the league. You're still going to watch it. I know I am. We're all degenerates. Get your account started. Check out the link below. Come and challenge me. Because up next is my weekly picks for week number 15. Where I'm going to be crushing it once again.